Well, hey there, everyone. So we decided to go ahead with uh, reboring the valve cages on the Todd engine. Uh, we just got done here uh, setting the uh, Climax line boring machine up. And uh, starting first thing Monday morning, we're going to start working on this. Uh, we're set up on the uh, exhaust um, uh, right now. Bottom is exhaust and the top is the steam side and uh, the goal is basically to you know take it out to as far as we have to in order to uh, clean it up um, it started at 14 inches in diameter it, and it's like 14 and 300 uh, at its at its worst location so i think we can probably get by with going out to you know 14.3 14 point four at most um, and it, the, the, of course the one in the back on the exhaust side is is the worst one because as we talked about in that other video about how that valve cage could kind of wander around and the, you know the, the more it uh, operated and the more things got worn the, the more that that thing could kind of wander around back there without support so that's going to be the the worst one um, so it will. I'll I'll take some video of the process of getting the of getting the work done. I've actually never seen one of these rigs in person before, so it's kind of a learning experience for me about how how this is all set up. So we basically, you know, machinist uh, made this piece here to bolts in to the uh, to the cylinder, three bolts, and then got this lined up as close as possible, clamped this in place, and then welded welded these two together. And then there's a little bit of adjustment, well, with the, the slop here between the bolts and this piece, and then also you have some set screw adjustments to move this around a little bit. There's also, I don't know if we can actually see it in there, but, oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Um, that's a central support to keep the uh, middle of the boring bar from wobbling around. Um, I don't know, you might be able to see right at the end of that valve cage, you can see a little bit of a lip right there, and it's, uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of wear in there, so that we're gonna, we're gonna get rid of all that and uh, make it nice and, nice and smooth again. And then here's the, uh, way it looks on the other side same deal weld the two pieces together once you get it um, set up there in the middle of the bore so we'll start on this one day and work on that and then once this is done uh, set it up on the upper one and uh, get that one bored out that one shouldn't be nearly as bad it was actually pretty much better shape so uh, we might not have to take too much off on the seam side. And also, tomorrow we're going to take the two valves down because uh, we're going to need access into the middle of that bore, which you can get through the the, uh, the port right there. So we're going to get, get those off of the crane tomorrow. But, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the big news of the week here. This is probably going to be one of the more expensive things that we have to do to the... Uh, to the Todd engine as part of the restoration, aside from the concrete work. Uh, we're going to have a uh, uh, new ring to make for the uh, for the 34 inch bore here. And oh, here, let me, let me show you the old ring. So I've got the old ring in place. And uh, yeah, look at the size of gap on that. That's a bit much. The, uh, the Baldwin Locomotive Works specifications for piston rings, that gap should be closer to like 3 30 seconds of an inch and not 3 quarters of an inch. <laughs> um, so we're going to uh, have a new ring made for this. And it's only one ring. Um, there have been some suggestions about uh, putting two rings in, you know, side by side, and then overlapping the gaps. Uh, that might that might help seal things up a little bit better. 
Um, one of the one of the things you can see here is like yeah, you can see there's a little bit of a gap right there. The top of the cylinder is especially right right in here is worn, and it looks like it's something scoured it over the years. So yeah, I don't know how much better we can get. Maybe putting two rings in there will help, but I think we're just gonna. The steam just going to blow by right there that part of the stroke it's not worth reboring the entire cylinder you know to take care of that little bit um, but you get a little further in there. you get a little further in and it kind of goes away and then we got fairly fairly decent seal around the rest of the way so yeah i think we'll be fine with with just make you know maybe make up two rings instead of the one um i don't know i don't have a lot of experience in this I've never done this before so it's, it's a learning process this entire project but uh um so this is uh this is where we're at um oh so starting well actually tomorrow we're having our last members day of the year and then we're having a nighttime photo shoot the first weekend in november check youngsoundsteel.org uh for the uh dates and times for that photo shoot and it will be running 58 at night uh doing some photography so if if that's something that interests you and you want to come out and do some nighttime photography or if you just want to come out and see the engine running at night uh that might be a good event to attend after that evening, we will park the locomotive uh, up there at the engine house, drain it, and winterize it, and then it'll be the last time it runs until sometime next spring. So uh, if you want to see a run, that's the last opportunity. We are going to bring the 62 down and park it right down there where the Brookville is sitting so that we can continue working on it over the winter. And uh, it'll be a lot easier because tools are here, locomotive is there, instead of it being way up on the hill, which made it a pain in the rear to work on it because you got to lug everything up and down the hill so all right i've rattled on long enough i'm gonna go get some lunch and then come back here and play around and uh oh well you know hey if you're in the neighborhood on monday tuesday next week and want to swing by and take a look at the uh boring in progress please do all right everyone take care